Y'all, I just got done with my hydrofacial and my massage, and I feel so good. I feel so fresh, so relaxed. Y'all know I've been waiting to do a hydrofacial for a while. Since the last time I did one, I was like, the next time I do a facial, I need to do a hydrofacial. And y'all, it felt so good. Worth the wait. My skin feels incredible. So I'm really happy about that. I treated myself so good this Costa Rican Mother's Day, y'all. Making up for Mother's Day in May that I really didn't do anything. I didn't put anything in the budget to celebrate, to treat myself. And I'm so happy that I was able to do it this time for this Mother's Day. If y'all didn't know, you missed the last vlog or the last vlog before that vlog. I talked about Costa Rican Mother's Day is in August. It was August 15th. So for the whole month of August, a lot of places were having a lot of sales and promotions and discounts for Mother's Day. And I found this place on Facebook where I find all my salons and spas and all the things. And they were having a sale for a massage and a facial. And when I tell you it was worth Every bit of that $50, it was worth every bit of that money, okay? I feel so good. It's on the other side of town, so it did take me about 45 minutes to get here because there was some traffic. It's about 11 o'clock now. I got here around 9.30. It's probably a little bit after 11. I'm going to figure out what I want to do. I need to get some groceries, but I don't want to get groceries right now. So, I gotta figure that out. But I'm gonna head back to my side of town and I'll give you guys the update when I get there. All right, so I said I wasn't going to go shopping, but I figured I might as well just go ahead and get it out the way for the week. So, even though this is not a stock up, I did get some essentials and I also picked up some treats. So, from Auto Mercado. I got the garlic breadsticks because I'm making pasta tonight. Some orange juice, bread, because we're running out. Pizza dough, because I'm planning to make pizza this Friday. The chocolate covered peanuts that I like. And then this I grabbed for lunch. It's a Caribbean style beef patty. And some lentils, because that's gonna be tomorrow's dinner. And that was everything, and that was about $30. And then from Pequeño Mundo, I just grabbed some more ginger ale to have in the fridge, mainly for my oldest. He's the one that drinks that. And then some more pesto pasta because this is dinner tonight. From Price Mart, which is our Costco, we ran out of blue agave, so I needed to get some more. The Aussie Moist Miracle Conditioner. I'm gonna try their ciabatta rolls. They just look so good. And I haven't bought ciabatta rolls in a minute because they're so expensive. But this is the kind of sandwich that I like. When I make sandwiches for myself, I like ciabatta rolls. Some chocolate chip cookies to have in the pantry. Some of the cheese puff pastries for the kids to take to school, mainly my daughter. Some more of their juice bottles before we run out because I'm low. They had the State Fair mini corn dogs, the turkey corn dogs in stock today. So I went ahead and got that for the boys for lunch. Picked up some rice with beans to have in the fridge for a quick meal, breakfast, or like a quick dinner. Got these lemon bites. I remember trying these and I think they're good. My youngest, his birthday's on Thursday, and I'm thinking I might bring these to his class. I'm not sure, but I have them as backup. Tortillas, before we run out, I'm on my last bag. 
and then some more chips for the kids to pack in their lunch boxes. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Una, dos, tres. Cumpleaños feliz. Cha cha cha. Te deseamos. <risa> Eso, muy bien, sorpresa. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué Hey guys, happy Friday. So I just got done at my son's school, the kids' school, because I went to wish him a happy birthday yesterday was his birthday y'all and he was sick like i had to pick him up from school because he was throwing up i don't know if it was like one of them 24 hour bugs or a virus that he caught but he wasn't feeling good so all we were able to do yesterday was just sing him happy birthday what we were gonna do yesterday at his school in his class i was able to do it today i got the little lemon bites little lemon cake bites from price mart those are so bomb and then i i ordered pizza that i picked up so i bought some pizza for the class and for the teachers and he was so surprised he had no idea that we were gonna surprise him with that. So it kind of made up for yesterday a little bit. And then, y'all, <laughs> I'm running around trying to prep for this weekend because tell me why my son tells me just a few days before his birthday that he wants a party. I have been asking him what he wants to do for a long time. I like to mentally prep the kids' birthdays a few months out. And this year, I knew I was gonna be on a tighter budget, so I knew I had to like prep for his birthday if he wanted a party, like with a lot of time. So I've been asking him and he's been telling me, no, he didn't want a party this year. As my kids get older, they kind of get out of the party era, the party stage. So I was fine with that because that was gonna save me money, like not having to pay for an expensive party because y'all, I've been doing parties at like event places and it's been really nice not having to like do a party on my own, but it, it's expensive, so. He tells me a few days before his birthday, I had no time to budget to get like a, a event space or to like hire a company or anything like that. And like when he told me what he wanted for his birthday, that's what I planned and budgeted for. At first he said he wanted to go to the beach. Then he said he wanted to go to Olive Garden. That was his thing. Like he wants to go to Olive Garden. We haven't been to Olive Garden in a minute. There's a pasta on the menu that he absolutely is obsessed with. And he really wanted to go to Olive Garden. So I was like, cool bet. Olive Garden, that's within the budget, very reasonable, I can do that. We ended up like being able to go to the beach and so I figured with Olive Garden and the beach, that would be like the perfect birthday. Well now, on Tuesday he tells me he wants a party. So I let him know, listen, it's kinda late to do like a party party, at least the type types of parties that I like to do, that I'm used to doing. And it's been years since I've done a party at home. So I was like, okay, we can do like a little celebration at the house. We have an area in our backyard where we host parties and stuff or where we used to host parties when we used to do at home parties. So I'm just gonna do a little something something in the house. I'm not making a big deal about it. There's not a lot of people coming because it's so last minute yet. Yeah nothing crazy super simple last minute celebration at home i told him he could invite whoever he wanted to invite so he invited a few of his classmates um it's not a lot of kids in his class anyway whoever's able to come will come and then i invited a few family members and now i'm just trying to figure out what i want to make i'm going to show you guys what i ended up getting so far and then i think later or tomorrow i'll just get the rest of everything it's just going to be simple 
a few people at the house to come to eat. We'll have some games. I bought a pinata. It's gonna be fun. Like I said, it's not gonna be anything crazy, super simple little get together slash celebration tomorrow for my son's 11th birthday. And this is everything I picked up so far. So I got some plates for the cake, plates for the food. I got two bubble wands just to have. The kids can play with that tomorrow. I mean, they're kind of older, so that's why I didn't get a lot. And also, I don't know how many kids are coming. <laughs> we'll be honest. So I got some bubble wands that they can blow bubbles tomorrow between activities. The happy birthday candles. I bought this little Minions pinata yesterday because he loves the Minions. And we've never had a Minion party. So I might, I just might put together a few goodie bags um, minion themed just to kind of pull the little theme that I have going on because it's not it's not like a theme theme like that I got these bags these sandwich bags these come in handy just to have on hand in general but I got them so the kids can use it when we do the pinata cups pack of chips balloons for tomorrow two of the number one metallic Balloons, goldfish, and apples just to have on hand. Pringles for the party tomorrow. I bought some napkins. I used some at his school in his class for the pizza. For the piñata, I got this bag of Skittles and Lifesavers and the fun size Snickers. And I'll probably get some more candies. And that's what I got for the birthday party so far. I almost forgot because I put them in the fridge. I picked up his cake today. Yeah, I bought a cake today. I just had them put Akeem is 11 on the cake. You guys will see that better tomorrow. I don't feel like opening the cake and doing all of that. It was in the car for a while. The car was pretty hot. And then I put it in the fridge. So that's why that's happening and then i got these lemon bites again because these are so delicious they're so good they're like little lemon cake bites these are the caribbean style beef patties i'm gonna also have those out as well and then i bought some more cookies i wanted to make sure that i had different options for everyone to snack on what you get from your grandma which was needed. needed. Oh, you need it. Oh my gosh. Yes. I just bought you some new ones, which you need it. Get rid of the ones that are too small. Let's go oh, ahead and do that right ones. away. Oh, perfect. There's you got a whole new wardrobe of underwear sure. oh, that actually it. fits. That, this is good. You can wear that tomorrow. And, and sweatpants. Oh, cool. Try them on. All right, so this is stuff that I picked up for the party today. I'm really rushing and I'm starting to stress out because I'm running super behind. I got some stuff for prizes. I just realized that one thing I bought, they didn't put in my bag. And I don't have time to go back down there and like figure that out. So I'm going to just let it go. Anyway, I got goggles for a prize. This beach ball for a prize. I got the little Minions goodie bag. These lollipops to put in the goodie bags. This STEM planetarium project for a prize. This jewelry set, like little kit for a prize. I did get like a little kitty LED watch. They didn't put that in my bag. I got this to put in the goodie bags. I got a ginger ale. I got some spaghetti. I got some... Oreos and some pesto pasta because I'm making two kinds of pasta, rice, chicken, and I'm going to have the kids go and get me some lettuce so I can make a salad. The lemon mixes to make lemonade and the mushroom sauce for the pasta. I also got some chicken and some beef. All right, guys, it's party time. I'm going to show you what the kids ended up doing for me because I was rushing and stressed and a little bit disappointed that one of my gifts for the games, they basically didn't pack it. I paid for it. They didn't put it in the bag. But I'm going to show you what the kids did for me. They came through. They hooked me up. They helped out the boys, the girls, everybody.
just waiting on people to show up now. The party was supposed to be at 2. I'm super happy that everybody did not show up at 2 o'clock because I was running late. Your girl was stressed. And the lights went out. So, yeah. But it came back really quickly and now we're ready and we're just waiting on our guests. Let me see. Pasta. And then more pasta. I always make too much. Y'all, the party was a success, and my son and his friends had so much fun, and that made me so happy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye!